just I think there's been an incredible amount of good practice uh, learning, you know, that's come from today. And I think not to give Harriet and the team more work in, in the IFM, but something around, you know, that side of either the what comes out of this or uh, we heard from Paul and resources for education, but, um, you know, there's a lot of, of learning, you know, particularly many have shared on the input of the local to the, to the national. And we in Northern Ireland are so grateful for being included. Um, we had early difficulties because of, um, uh, not politically, but just the challenges of sh sharing in Ireland, but, you know, with the Republic of Ireland, but it's trying to be, you know, as, as um, centered in the UK as well, posed some early challenges for us. But thankfully, uh, we were able to, to work through some of that to the point where even some things that are very difficult at times or have been in the past for Northern Ireland, we sh you know, some of the positive stories here are how even the British army uh, in, in many ways was welcomed into Northern Ireland to, to support during this time. And, and even from parties that, that wouldn't be normally expected. And it, it shows how uh, even something as, as difficult and, and troubling as, as the pandemic has been to try to see some of the positives. And that certainly has, has been a great help to us in, in Northern Ireland and recognizing how important dialogue that the importance of dialogue is, you know, and we know that obviously in interfaith work, how important that is, but that contribution, um, you know, for, for ourselves to stay connected to the, 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 the devolved nations, but also the Republic of Ireland. And, and that was in the chat of maybe contributions from other uh, European countries um, into future IFN gatherings could be could be of help um, in moving in moving forward. We've learned quite a bit from the difference between top down and, and bottom up. And the bottom up, the grassroots local interfaith initiatives have made it a really significant contribution to. Um, to a lot of the arrangements that have taken place here that have often maybe not been aware of by our Stormont executive. And, and for us, the learning there is there's a lot of learning going on in higher government as to how important engagement with various faith groups are on that level in our, in our government. And that's something that we hope that we can take forward. And it was really interesting in our little uh, workshop to hear Ryan from the Civil Contingency Secretary and some of the challenges there and to, to, to him and his group from within our workshop. But it also you know, gives us something really to, to work for and to recognize. And we have a lot of challenges in Northern Ireland, um, you know, just politically and obviously at the moment with, with border situations, but this pandemic also has provided m many positive opportunities in, in another way that we continue to hope to build on from an interfaith perspective. And again, we just remain great, grateful that uh, the devolved nations, the other nations in the UK have never forgotten about us. And we, we hope to, uh, to, to and give thanks for our partnership with yourselves and being part of this day. Thank you.